Zeke, this is Copeland. How's it going? I've got a job for you. Cope, hey. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll see if I can, uh, make time. Deacon out. Uh-oh, I should stop for fuel. She was thrilled. Made her day. Hell, it made her fucking year. I bet. Booze her out. What do you need? Yep. Always needing fuel. Drifter Those life. Infected kids. What are they called? Alright, see you, Deke. Good to see you, Deke. So, hold on. on the roof of this house we passed a few months back. What? Not enough credits? Stop by any time. Deke. Good. Got something you might be interested in. Yeah, don't bet on it, Cope. I'm busy. Too busy to hear about a Ripper camp? Here? In the Cascade Wilderness? Rippers up here? <sighs> Where? Thought you might be interested. I heard how you and Boozer got hit by it. In fact, I haven't seen Boozer around much, have I? Where, Cope? Up by Separation Meadow. Flack, you know her, don't you? Saw him firsthand. Passed their camp when she was out on a supply run. Don't worry. <sighs> I'll take care of him. Hey, Deke, how's it going? Hey, Damon. How's life? Man, are you awake? Boozer. Yeah, Deke. Just feeling a little out of it, you know? Look, I'm on my way up to Separation Meadow. Cope says there's a ripper camp up there. Rippers? This far north? Yeah, Boozer. What the hell's going on with these guys? Alki said the rippers were looking for us, that we had a price on our hand. What the hell? How's that possible? I mean. Sure, I've, I've killed my share of crazy bastards, but I never went out of my way. Uh, not that I remember. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, rippers. Deacon out.
Boundaries. Nope, it's done. The rivers up here won't bother anyone ever again. Oh, St. John, that's good news. I talked to Manny the other day, some of the others. I know you've been doing things for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. Mark Copeland out. Take that. What did you drop? Find that Ripper camp? Yeah, Boozer. I found it. You think... You think they were up here looking for us? 
I don't know, booze man. I was too busy stopping them from cutting my eyes out to ask. Sorry, brother. I, I wish I'd been there. Sure, man. Yeah, I know. Deacon out. Could make something out of this. Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I oh, know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just... I'm trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh. Yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loans, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth, go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. <sighs> All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower. All right. And then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. You know, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. But apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh my... God. Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm that's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes.
Hey, there's more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, it's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. So, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer. Wow, look at you. Being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers. One fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? Okay, you try picking some now. Lavender, you, you want me to pick lavender? Yep, and bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring them here. Wow, gallantry is alive and feral after all. Well, if it's not, <laughs> then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer for myself on the way over. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm a little out of it. Wait, you said something? It's, uh, it's something, Sarah. Ah! Uh, it's something Sarah showed me a few summers ago before Yeah, anyway, uh, there's a plant that grows out here called lavender. It grows in the shade along rivers lake shores I'm gonna see if I can find some Shit brother the way my arms feeling I'll try anything but fuck the lavender bring something I can smoke Whatever I'm gonna find some of this shit. I'm gonna make a burn salve out of it, and you're gonna shut the hell up about it Yeah, okay Sorry brother just Going stir crazy up here, you know. Ah, don't worry, booze man. We're riding north, I swear to God, not too much longer. You hear me? Yeah, out. That's it. 
Good night. Finally.
Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. We were picking lavender, and uh, she Please. taught <laughs> she taught me how to make this sap for Burns. And uh, look, I got out today. Okay? I actually had a look around the mound. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey, just give me a couple days, okay? Just ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We got hit. And hard. Rippers. A couple of dozen, maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried about? Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? Gone. They took her and three others. Alki followed him as far as he could. But they're holed up at Belknap Crater. He came back to round up more men, but... God damn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, I do need some. Deacon out.
Someone's trapped. I gotta help him. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. No, no, where? Where? I'll go. Go toward Three Fingered Jack, find the Salome Hot Springs, talk to Alki Turner. He'll help you out. Oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die in there. Tell him it was Deacon. They'll know. Okay, keep running, stay out of sight.
Oh, here we go. Done. She was dragged through here. If you've heard her, you sons of bitches, I'm gonna kill every last one of you. They won't be joining your goddamn cult. Jesus. 
Jesus, what the hell is wrong with you freaks? Free rule the world, huh? Not if they're all dead. No, she's not in here. Where are you, Lisa? She's got to be out here somewhere. I cannot be free unless I have seen. No one is joining you. Look, now you're found. Yeah. Hang on, Lisa. No matter what they do to you, just, just hang on. Here. They dragged her up here. This has got to be up there. I'm coming, kid.
Lisa. All right, Lisa. Oh, Jesus, what have they done to you? Lisa. Lisa? Hey. Sweetheart. No! Hey, hey, no! hey, shut up, shut up! Shut up! Lisa, it's me. It's Deacon. Remember? Deacon? Okay. All right. That's all right. It's all right. Come on. You okay? Do you know where the visitor center is? All right, that's where my bike is. I need you to run air as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right, don't stop no matter what. You ready? Huh? Go. Run!
We're safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me. To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the Hot Springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. Hold on. Ricky! Ricky, come back! Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Long time no here. What do you want? Just... Meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you and Lewis were out of here? Uh, oh yeah. That. Uh, listen! That's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid. Uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. A, a, you've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Y yeah, okay. I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay, you're welcome. Fuel, yes. You're gonna like it there, kid. It's like I said, Iron Mike, he's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. You got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. If he bothers you at all, well, just tell Ricky. Or, uh, tell Addie. She's the camp's doctor. You tell her. And Addie's, she's good. She's got medicine, you know, to clean up those, uh, to clean up those cuts. I mean, you don't want to get infected. They're gonna help you out, kid. You can count on them, even if you, uh, you know, even if you screw up. All right. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is uh, Ricky. She's going to uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not going to pay you for this. Pay me for, oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. You just, mm -hmm. you just take her. Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was, had a run in with some rippers. I had to. Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm gonna tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my God. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it.
sniper ambush. Oh, God damn it. One of the camps can use this. To uh, you were saying something? Deke, you there? Hot Springs to Deacon St. John. Tucker, I'm here. I expected you back by now. Did you find the girl, Lisa? No, Tuck. <laughs> no, Tuck, no. The, the uh, Rippers cut her up pretty bad. She, uh, she didn't move. <laughs> No, Tuck, no. The, the, uh, Rippers cut her up pretty bad, and she, uh... She did ah! No, Tuck, no. The, the, uh, Rippers cut her up pretty bad, and she, uh... She didn't make it. God damn it. We needed her. But the other went to get even further behind. Ha! Ah! Ah! Okay, what were you saying? God damn it! We needed her! Now the digging's going to get even further behind. Well, look on the bright side, Tuck. One less mouth to feed, yeah? You get out there and find me some warm bodies, or there won't be any mouths left to feed. Tucker out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get right on that. Ah, uh, you feel that, huh? Goddamn sniper. This is Copeland. How's it going? I've got a job for you. Cope, hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll see if I can, uh, make time. Deacon out.
Hey, me again. I know it doesn't make any sense me coming up here since you were never here, but what the hell? Where else am I gonna go? Craziest thing, I found this kid. It, well, oh, okay, she wasn't a kid. She must be 15, 16, something like that. It reminded me a lot of your little sister. Anyway, she had uh, survived all this time on her own. In that little town north of Belknap, you know, you remember that one? Little church that we got married in <laughs> because you wanted someplace rustic. So this kid, Lisa, um, I did what I'm paid to do. I brought her in and, I mean, how long was she gonna last out there anyway? I took her to the hot springs and I know, I know you don't like Tucker. Well, you wouldn't have liked Tucker, I mean, but, she runs a tight camp. She keeps her people safe. Only she didn't. The Rippers came, killed some people, took others. They took Lisa. I got her back, but I don't, I don't know. She was messed up before, and I think the Rippers might have gotten into her head. Look, it's not that I give a shit. I don't. She's got to take care of herself like everyone else, right? I guess, I guess I just kept thinking. If it was your little sister, what would you think of me? I should have left her where I found her. Okay, I, uh, I gotta go. Boozer's still... Well, I, I don't think that he's getting any better. His arms are pretty messed up, and I don't, I don't think that there's much more that I can do for him. Okay, bye.
see what I can do.